Subaru has revived a trim variation of its WRX sedan. If you're a dyed-in-the-wool Subaru fan, you've very likely heard of the TR model. In the past, it stood for Tuner Ready. Is it the same for this new version? The original WRX TR was a stripped down version of the 2006 Impreza. It was dubbed Tuner Ready because it got the more powerful engine from the WRX, but Subaru gave it base model seats, no leather on the steering wheel, and charged a thousand bucks less for it. The idea was to deliver a model for folks who planned on modifying their cars and didn't need upsells and extra frills. Fast forward to this 2024 model year car and the new TR has a different philosophy. There is no other engine that Subaru could have put in this. There's no STI version anymore. And every iteration packs the 2.4 liter flat four cylinder engine under the hood. So what does the TR offer to separate itself? Performance upgrades of the stopping and handling variety. Subaru swaps on a set of Brembo brakes. Up front, you have six piston calipers. The rears are two piston. Subaru also gives you larger rotors, brake pads, and even a larger master cylinder. So the brakes are sorted. What about the suspension? Well, Subaru also swaps on a stiffer set of springs. They retune the damping rates, and then they also tweak the steering rack. Pair those changes with the fresh TR specific 19 inch wheels and a set of 245 with Bridgestone S007 tires and handling should see a nice upgrade compared to the non TR models, including the previously sportiest WRX GT. Now on the inside, whereas the OG TR went down market, this one is stepping things up. Recaro seats serve as the thrones and they're finished in black and gray ultra suede. On the driver's side, it's also eight-way power adjustable. More good news, which wasn't present for the arrival of the CVT-only WRX GT. This one comes with a six-speed stick. There's no bump in power as the turbo boxer mill still produces 271 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. But there is a bit of weight saving thanks to the removal of the power moonroof, which is available on the other models. Beyond all the performance enhancing goodness, you get nice features like the Subaru iSight driver assist tech, even though it's a manual gearbox car. You get the 11.6 inch center display and you get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You're also, as is safe to assume, going to pay more for this one. Subaru keeps referring to the WRX TR as the top trim level. That would make it more expensive than the WRX GT, which starts at $44,415. So don't be surprised if the WRX TR rings in at around $47,000 to start, which is a bit of a shame since it would have been great to see the newest TR give you the performance goodies, remove some of the creature comforts, and land just a bit above the $31,625 starting price of the base WRX will say, however, that the performance upgrades do sound like pretty darn good ones. I just wish we weren't forced to pay closer to 50 grand for something that's definitely not an STI.